Hi, welcome to the first video for the trombone. In this, we'll just talk about how to put your trombone together and how to make the first uh, notes on it. Um, first thing is you want to open up your trombone case. The trickiest thing about this is make sure you open it the right way. So with all trombone cases, we have buckles or latches that look like this you want to make sure the latch goes up. If, it, if you pull it down, then you got the case upside down and um, everything will go everywhere. A lot of times, also the top has the logo, the bottom does not, so just make sure the logo is on top. But a good way to know is just if the latches go up. So you wanna get your trap going out on the ground. Don't keep it on your lap, put it on the ground. Move the latches up and open the there should be three parts. You should have a mouthpiece, the bell, and the slide. So, three parts. For, for now, just take your mouthpiece out, hold it like this. To make a buzz, you practice going like this. You put your lips together, just blow a bunch of air. <laughs> try doing it in this. <laughs> to change notes, you can try tightening your lips and blowing faster air or slower air, or loosening these and blowing faster air or slower air. Slower air. <laughs> and then that changes the notes. If you can just do one, that's great. <laughs> if you can change notes, that's even better. But just make sure you can get some sort of noise on this. To put the trombone together, you want to grab the slide first. You can notice on the slide you have a uh, the the receiver or the the slide. I forget what it's called. Just the bell receiver, and you have the mouthpiece receiver. The bell receiver has these little threads on it. Um, that goes on your left. So if you hold up your two L's. The left hand is the one, the real L. So this just goes on the, the, your left hand side. I hope my screen isn't mirrored right now. The This goes on your right hand side. So just keep this on the ground. The top, this should just be on the ground. So while you hold this, you can grab your bell. Be really careful to hold it. If you're holding it with one hand, and hold your bell with your left hand and your slide with your right hand. You're just gonna put this end in here. So I, I start it kind of in a line like this, maybe move it a little bit more so it's, it's not a perfect uh, square 90 degrees. Um, and then you it's important you just want the, the trombone on the ground and you're gonna take this hand while pushing down, not as much as you can, but a little bit pushing and then turning it. So then this makes uh, a, like a square, a 90 degree square. That's what keeps it together is that, that push, that push and turn. It's the push and turn. If you just put it on, so then if I push and turn it, like this isn't going anywhere, don't do that at home, but that, that's what keeps it in. Then the, the, the screw just is a safety, safety, just, just in case. So with that push and turn, don't try to bend anything it's not as hard as you can do it it's just a little bit um, then the mouthpiece goes in the mouthpiece receiver easy so then this the bell should be on your left hand side if you hold up your L left hand side your thumb or your, your fingers go over and wrap around your thumb can go underneath that's just an, there's a thousand different ways to hold the trombone but that's the easiest so with two fingers on this side, two fingers on that side. Um, or you can put your thumb like this and wrap your fingers around too. That also works, but the easiest way is just to, to grab it like that. Your right hand holds the, this bottom, the bottom slide piece. And then there is a slide lock, so right now mine's locked. So if you just bring it up to your mouth and just buzz just like you did before. A note should come out. It might be that note or a little bit higher. One of the two is great. 
So to unlock your slide, most slides just have a little turn. So if, if you turn it and if you lock it, you turn it and then it's locked. That's so if you're walking around, um, it doesn't fall out. I never trust my slide lock because it could get bumped and then your slide falls out and then someone steps on it. So I always am either holding with two hands or I have a big hand so I can wrap my pinky around it, but try to never trust your slide lock. It, it's, it's nice that it's there, but always always keep your, your hands on it because a lot of times trombone slides fall out and on the ground and they get dented and then that's like $100 to get it fixed, which is a lot of money or maybe 40 to a hundred dollars depending on if someone stepped on it or if it just got a little dent um, so for our first three notes we're gonna go to fourth position which is on your slide you see how there's the end of the slide here the, the gold probably gold part is at the very end so it's kind of lined up with the end of your bell so the end of the slides is lined up with, with the bell. So you hold the side with two fingers and your thumb, you bring it down to where the end is at the end of the bell. And that's D. It should sound something like that. Our next note is C, which for most fifth graders or sixth graders is just gonna be all the way out, out as far as you can go. So your hand just goes all the way out and it should sound something like this. And that's C. And then B flat is all the way in. And just be aware that you want to watch if your hand is right there, it can get pinched right there and it could hurt quite a bit if you if you pinch it the wrong way. So just make sure that your your hand is is up up not on the slide so you don't get uh, whacked with it when you go back. And then B flat is in first position. So all the way in. So we got end of the slide, all the way out, all the way in. So, and those are the first two notes to hot cross buns. So the song all the way through. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, all the way through. like that to take your trombone apart take your mouthpiece and you put it back where you found it some in all cases it's a little bit different to take the trombone apart you want to unscrew this keeping it down on the ground and you twist it back the same way you you twist it so I twist it out and then it should just release and come up you put the bell back where it goes the bell is always the easiest spot and then for the slide, it's always different based on the brand. So I'm gonna take you with me here. With this, oops, I accidentally stopped the trombone video. So I'm gonna take you with me here. We're gonna go down. Okay, here we go. Go down onto the, the trombone. And you can see, hopefully, that there's just a uh, flap here. You can kind of see where the trombone slide has been before. You just try to put it back where it has been. The the water key, the spit valve, should just be facing up usually. For this Bach trombone, you put it back down and you and you click and then it should go nowhere. For the Yamaha trombones, it's a little bit trickier. Their their slides go in like that. And the end of the Oh my gosh, this is difficult. The end of the, the trombone where you put the bell is always going to be at the end of the case there. So if you try to put it in the other way, it's not going to it's not going to close right. So you just want the 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 where the mouthpiece and the bell goes at the very end by where the mouthpiece is. If that's a, if if you have a Yamaha case. So Hopefully that helps um, practice that stuff at home if you have an instrument or just watch this and so we know what to do when we get to class the first day. So, see ya!